Cool, and the man who initially created this browser. Let's bring out George Stakos. Good morning, everyone. With the introduction of BlackBerry 6, BlackBerry users all around the world have been able to enjoy a new kind of web browsing experience on their smartphones. The BlackBerry 6 web browser provides rich HTML5 web browsing, a new refreshed user interface with support for tabs and multi-touch integration for zooming and panning the page. It provides much richer rendering and much better site compatibility than previous releases of BlackBerry, and it provides much better performance. I think the best way to demonstrate this is live, so I'll give you an, a few uh, demos of browsing on a BlackBerry Torch. You can see right away, this is the new startup screen. It has a, an overview of your bookmarks, and it shows you some uh, thumbnails of the sites as they were last presented to the user. I'm going to uh, go ahead and open up the Formula One website to see when the next race is. The page loads quite quickly, and it renders all of the content as a desktop browser would be expected to render it. We can zoom in, pinch gestures, and uh, JavaScript is running. You can see the countdown is ticking away. Apparently we have two months left. If you notice right at the very top, when I scroll around, a little tab drops down. This gives us quick access to the URL bar and to our bookmarks and to our tabs so that we don't have to scroll around and scroll back to the top or use any kinds of hard keys to get at the uh, controls. When I click on the tab bar, I'm able to see all of the tabs that are open, create a new one, and let's load a mobile site. You can see that we support mobile sites just as well as desktop sites. They load quickly and they interact very cleanly. Close that tab out, close out the next one as well, and I'd like to show you some of the deeper integration that we have. I bookmarked a uh, photo on Flickr. This one's quite nice. So if I click on it, you can see that instead of loading a new page, it actually does some, some Ajax calls and some more rich interaction to, uh, to be able to pull that content over into the browser and avoid doing too much network traffic. Within the browser, we also have the ability to open up a new menu by clicking and holding. And in doing so, we have options such as save image, I think I'm going to save this one as my wallpaper. It's quite nice. And when I exit, you'll see the image is saved as my wallpaper. Performance. You saw that pages were loading and interacting very quickly, very effectively. This is one of the areas that we invested a lot of time and engineering resources to improve. JavaScript performance is one of the key areas for benchmarking a browser and actually having a good user experience as well. In BlackBerry 6, we were able to provide JavaScript that executed roughly four times as fast as BlackBerry 5 and much faster than other competitive <coughs> devices at the time. We didn't stop there though. In subsequent releases of the BlackBerry 6 platform, we actually were able to increase JavaScript performance even further, and the latest UMTS and Edge devices are now including JavaScript that performs as well as an iPhone 4 does. JavaScript is not the only thing that we look for, page load times. Using the BlackBerry infrastructure and proxy service, we're able to provide page load times that are roughly half of what they were in BlackBerry 5. And we do all of this without compromises in standards or site support. So you can see that we have uh, a perfect score on the ACID-3 test, and this is something that's very important to us. How do we do this? 
We're taking advantage of WebKit. WebKit is an open source rendering engine that powers most of the mobile devices in the world today. By being open source, it has a lot of developers, far more than any one company could contribute to the engine. So we work together to provide the best browsing experience and one that can be used by everyone. The benefit to this is that we're very quick to adopt new standards and we're very uh, compatible with other devices. So content developers only have to render their content, or sorry, only have to develop their content once. And generally it works on all devices. By using a common base that's been tested everywhere, we're able to very quickly migrate to the BlackBerry Playbook. The BlackBerry Playbook tablet is using the BlackBerry browser just as the Torch is. It's using almost exactly the same browser engine. The benefit, though, is that the BlackBerry Playbook provides a much larger display. You can see the whole page. It's much faster. You can render content much more quickly and we're able to do many things that we just can't do in a phone form factor. Full flash support, full flash video support, HTML5, audio, video, SVG, hardware accelerated, CSS, animations, <coughs> transitions, canvas, have all of the tools you need to make rich HTML applications. What better way than, uh, what better way to show you than a live demo? So I have a playbook here, and um, I'm going to be able to show you some features such as hardware accelerated CSS, which we have right here. You'll see many letters floating around on this page. They're all separate layers in the page that are being transformed and rotated and blurred with CSS, no JavaScript, in real time on the device. That's phenomenal. I've never seen this perform so well on uh, even most PCs can't render this at this speed. But uh, let's load a, uh, a real site now. I believe Viva News is a popular website locally. You can see just how smoothly it pans and zooms. And even the video should be playable inside the page as it buffers. Next, I'd like to show you some very quick demos of CSS hardware acceleration. This one is put together by Sencha, who make a toolkit for developing rich web content. You may have seen this demo at BlackBerry de Developer Convention in San Francisco earlier. Now this is being completely hardware accelerated, so it's very smooth. This is not flash, this is not, this is all being done entirely by CSS. And finally, I'd like to show you an example here, very quickly, of an application that's being developed for the playbook when it launches. This application is done entirely as a web application. It's all web content. You can see embedded flash video. You can see all of the controls done with web content. And all of the, all of the features, they're all running inside the web browser. HTML is really becoming a very powerful force and you know, with, with the ability to hardware accelerate everything, with the ability to develop all of your content and have it work just like an application, as developers, I think it's time to start looking at developing your applications in HTML and, and BlackBerry WebWorks. It gives you a lot of freedom and a lot of power to really go the next level and own all of your content and deliver it the way you would like to. Thank you very much.